many people or many Christians have fallen into this cage of self-condemnation and that is what we are discussing today. Self-condemnation. I don't know. Self-condemnation, self-condemnation. <laughs> Depending on where you started or where you went to school, you might call it condemnation or condemnation. English is not our. <laughs> All right. Hello, people. How are you? How are you doing over there? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber. And if it is your first time here, we are super, super excited to have you on this channel. The goal through this channel is to break down big concepts in Christianity to smaller workable tips so that anyone can apply them to enjoy the promises of God as he has promised them in the word. And I also get to discuss or share things we never get a chance to ask in a service as the sermon is being preached. So if you are led to any topic and you feel that we needed to discuss it here, drop it in the comment section below here. In the moment, I'm still able to read everyone's comments, so definitely I'll land on it and I'll have it as a topic for discussion on this channel. All right, on this channel also I get to once in a while get this camera and give you my uh, routine or activities that I'm doing. So yeah, to break the monotony of the word all the time, I step out and do an activity on video and I bring it to you guys. So always enjoy those ones as well. Always give the like, subscribe if you haven't, comment and also share if you find one video or another like uh, encouraging to another person always recommend them and that way you are participating in spreading this message to the ends of the earth and of course your reward is as good as mine we shall enjoy it when we reach in heaven so without wasting much of your time guys let us share today's topic which is self-condemnation Myself, I have fallen into that ditch that before I got to know the truth, many times I found myself judging uh, me or I would find myself condemning myself. But as I was praying this morning uh, about what to share with you, this topic dropped in my spirit and many others. But as God, as hilarious as he is, he dropped a song that, that we used to sing while we were growing up. I think we used to sing it in secondary school, in chapel time. And it said, and can it be that I should gain? Maybe I sing it. <laughs> All right, guys, I've never sung. I am not, I have never attended any music school, but this is my version of how I sing. Especially hymns are quite complicated, but yeah, we just flow with the vibe. All right. It says, and can it be that I should gain an interest in the Savior's blood? Died he for me? Who caused his pain for me? Who him to death pursue? Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, should die for me? Now that is one one stanza, and it has about five stanzas which I can't sing, but the most important or the one which God was ministering to me this morning is the last verse which says no condemnation now I dread Jesus and all in him is mine alive in him my living head and clothed in righteousness divine 
bold I approach the eternal throne and claim the crown through Christ my own. So it goes on and on, but you realize that this song was telling us that there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ. Our righteousness is because we have believed Jesus Christ. So there is no condemnation. But in this song, God was also showing me that regardless of how many times we sang it, it did not make sense at that time. But now it has come to make sense a lot later in the, re in the recent years after I have been taught the truth. Likewise, now, even when I'm saying that there is no condemnation, some of you may miss it. But over the years, it, as you get bits and pieces of the truth, which is the word of God, you will refer to this video. And partly that is my kind of motivation. As I get up every morning doing these videos, there is a motivation that comes to me to tell me that my videos may not be popular right now or immediately but i am fully persuaded that soon or later or in the next generations to come they will make reference to them so that is my motivation and i am encouraged every day to go out and, and search the word study and also share my opinions my understanding according to the word of god concerning this topic i would encourage each and everyone never to condemn yourself as long as you are in christ you are a new creation the old has gone and the new has come guys and there is another verse that says I will forgive you your sins and remember them no more. Praise the Lord. That is found in Hebrews, but I'm not going to open it in the Bible. Uh, but I wanted us to read the one in um, Romans chapter 8 verse 1. And it says, therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Praise the Lord. This is a beautiful scripture. This is a beautiful verse. It says that the spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. So you have life. You have eternal life. If you are in Christ, there is no condemnation. Praise the Lord. So don't condemn yourself. If God is not counting it on you, why do you count it on yourself, guys? He has said, I will forgive. I am studying my spirit, so I feel like I should tell, I should read this verse which says, I will forgive your sins and remember them no more. But you people, you like to keep reminding yourselves of what happened in 1990 and you still think God is here punishing you or condemning you or judging you. No, he says, I will forgive their sins and remember them no more. So don't bring back his story. Just ask for forgiveness, carry on. He himself is not remembering what you did in 2013. So uh, I felt like I should read it, though my intention wasn't at first. But now let me read it that. Now my spirit has insisted on reading. It is in Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12. It says, I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. So, never feel like God is relating with you on your history or in your, in, in your past. As the Bible has said that, therefore now, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. And also the, another Bible verse that I have referred to and I didn't tell you it was a verse. The one I was saying, you are now a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. So God relates with us according to our spirits, not according to what we are in our bodies. 
but that when we say that usually people think we are telling people to sin go around sinning doing this because god does not remember no but when you that is for someone who is still immature someone who is grown up in faith there are things that you don't do just because they have said therefore now there is no condemnation for you who is in christ praise the lord so i'm going to leave two videos linked here one entitled uh, never leave the presence of god and another one is entitled does god live when you sin they are amazing videos they will take you into a further study of knowing the truth which is the word of god all right stay blessed and uh, thank you for continued support and keep giving those likes the sum the thumbs up down here click the like button always share if you find any videos of mine inspirational or to encourage another person uh, subscribe because if you do that automatically youtube leaves such good content in the near such a boss so that other new viewers can find it easily that is why all the time you see a video someone is asking you to subscribe it helps us grow the channel for it to keep in the near such a boss such that other viewers can find it and that way with this good news you are participating in spreading the gospel to the ends of the earth we are in it together guys so i thank you so so much my subscribers who have put an effort who always send me encouraging messages in my whatsapp in my email and also the comments i appreciate and i can't take you for granted you don't know how you make me feel when i see responses i feel like yeah i am not just talking to the camera but out there there are people who are listening in and also learning one or two things from me so i am encouraged so thank you guys and you know that i love and pray for each one of my subscribers and i'll definitely see you in my next one peace see you in my next one bye bye for now